Anna reporting for Week 4 and I'm here at the Design Museum for the showcase of the Beastly Designs of the Year exhibition. It's amazing. It's such a diverse mix of work. It's kind of quite surreal to be here, to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of quite overwhelming. It's, it's amazing. There's this one which is the DIY surgical operation kit, which is, it's all about design, but it's really functional. I just think that the one, the one that should win should be something that is useful. Design is important, so it kind of feeds everyday life. Design is furniture, it's lighting, but it's also, you know, the world in which we live, it, it, it's everything. I think innovation is, is important always. We always need to be um, never settling for the status quo and always pushing for bigger, better, newer uh, and novelty things. You want to somehow progress and enhance your environment and I think certain qualities will only be achieved through good design. To have intellectual, an intellectual environment that's also inviting is so important this day and age and I think this is where we really see this evolution of innovation. So they're sort of celebrating the everyday which has obviously had so much design and thought and um, artistic process involved in it that maybe doesn't get celebrated quite so much in this sort of setting. At the end of the day it's also an incredible betterment for the lives of human beings to be surrounded by beautifully designed objects. The world changes around us and if we don't innovate, we die. <laughs> but also it's part of the joy of being a human, right? It's that you humans want to create mm -hmm. and Experiment. build things. I would probably say designers have never had it so good. So exhibitions like this showcase just how important it is that we celebrate innovative design. I'm Laura McKenna, I'm going to